Hello, hello. This is a Voxel tutorial for beginners uh, without using weird language. Uh, at the end of the video, I hope you are able to tell why this first wedge was distorted, why on the second try the green part was distorted, and on this third try it actually just works and I've got the wedge next to the block without anything distorting. Now in block building games like Robocraft or Trainmakers, Stormworks, you're just placing blocks and every block you place will have the shape that it's supposed to have because it's one fixed block. Your universe is a bit like that so you can do stuff like place materials and copy and paste them around but voxels behave a tiny bit differently in some ways. You probably already came across something like this. You place some material and then you notice there is some stuff weirdly distorted. In this case the uh, red disc is actually for the most part still very round but the black blocks underneath are weirdly distorted. And now I do it a different way and now you will see how the black blocks are for the most part intact but the uh, disc is slightly distorted and different places. One way or another, it doesn't really work, no matter how you do it. So here is the boring but crucial part. The left side, you see a cube. Fascinating, oh no. It's got eight corners. On the right side, you now see the same cube, but with a wedge next to it. Now, four of those corners of the wedge are now, you only see three, and four of the corners of that block are now directly neighbouring, and therefore they must go into the same position. So, the corners B, C and D are very obvious. Now, the block still has the A, and the wedge, even though you don't see it because it's on that straight there, the wedge still has corner E. Now, one way or another, if I place those two next to each other, E and A must be in the same position. Either E goes to A or A goes to E. Now, I keep on saying there are two ways of doing it. One way is I just place it without holding any other buttons. That way, the block that was already there will keep its shape and the newly placed wedge will have to accommodate so the wedge is now being distorted in order to fit its corners correctly to the block or what i can do is i hold shift while placing it now the green wedge will keep its shape but that means that the red block is now being distorted one way or another If we go back now to the red disc that I placed earlier, you may wonder why it looks perfectly fine if I place it on that surface. The dirty secret here is that the black blocks underneath are actually all horribly distorted. They are now weirdly shaped in order to accommodate the uh, round disc while still having the corners somewhat intact. You see on that piece how it's actually rounded in that way that the disc is on top and that is why they don't really interfere. The edges are aligned. Overall, however, if you look at a large part there, it all works out. Now, let's come to the solution. You remember those here? Now you know why one is distorted one way, the other one is distorted the other way. I was holding shift and not holding shift. You still don't know what's going on there with the third one. I'm going to show you that now. Um, it's a lovely little trick that I recommend using all the time. The ladies loved. Anyway, um, just place one block like that in midair. Now I'm going to place a wedge over it, holding shift, and that means that the original cube I placed there in midair is now stretched in that way. I place another wedge, too wide, below it. And now that block, that one block, is now stretched to the side. And if you look at that fella now, it looks like two blocks. But it's only one block with the corners stretched to the side. Oh yeah. 
So, this guy, he's now obviously misfigured in his own way. Uh, you remember the little black blocks on the disc, how I was picking them up and they were distorted? No, this guy's just distorted as well. He's distorted in such a way that uh, the corners, four of them, are just rather far away. It looks like it's two blocks indeed. And now I'm just placing that fella again and again and again. Then I copy that line and make a lovely surface here. Please remember that placing one of those only needs the material of one block, not two. Also means we can have a double thick floor using the material of one. And now I'm placing that disc again. And now you will notice as I place it, it looks well perfect. That's that's how I want it. Thanks, mate. That's that's all I wanted. Now nothing is distorted. It looks very, very neat. That is the way it should be. Now, why is that? Um, you got to remember that now between that red block and the yellow disc, there are actually no blocks in between. It's, it's like an air gap, just that it's filled with something that looks like there is something. So visually, there is now one layer of black, two layers of red, and two layers of that yellow disc. Or really, there is only the black layer of blocks, then a red layer, which just happens to visually be double thick. Um, then there is one layer of nothing, which is filled by what looks like red blocks, and then is the disc. So there is actually no red block and yellow block neighbouring. And if they are neighbouring, then they don't have to share their corners, meaning they don't distort. Alright, next trick, or workaround, or whatever you want to call it. Imagine you want to have this lovely sphere, and you want to have a clear-cut rectangular window, or whatever shape in there. So how do you get that? There is a bit of an issue. First of all, all of those cubes that you see there are weirdly distorted. While on the outside they look like a sphere, their edges between each other are weird. Now look at that misshaped little fella. The problem now is given that those have that weird shape, if you were to now just mark a certain amount of blocks in there and took them out, you would have very odd fringy edges and wavy stuff that you don't want. So if I just delete it like this, it's not going to look nice. I mean, look at that. that, that it just doesn't look clean. Now on the left, oh my! Yeah, that's an edge only a mother can love. So, you wouldn't want that. It just looks bad. So how do you do it? Okay. Um, I'm just placing a good amount of blocks there. By the way, if you wonder what I do there, that is precision mode while holding shift. So, shift and cursor keys. And now I just place that big box in the middle there. Very important, by the way, it must be a different material, should you test this. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at those yellow blocks in the side again. So I just copy a chunk out there. And now you're going to see that that edge is perfect. That's lovely, sharp and defined. That's the way I want it. So now that apparently I have an edge there, I only have to take the green block away again. So just having placed that, change the yellow voxels and now I can take it away again. And that change is still there. Please remember I didn't hold shift while placing the green blocks there. But now I've got a great clean cut window there. So... As simple as it may look, I hope you can now appreciate this perfectly grid-aligned window frame on the inside of a sphere. And of course, well, the same thing on the outside of the sphere. Whether you now think it's aesthetically pleasing or not is another thing, but it is very clean. And I hope with the tools I gave you here, um, it's going to be a bit easier for you to reproduce that. And here, of course... You've got that roundy part right next to the edge. And that I wouldn't have been able to do without the good old double block thingy. Because they would have distorted each other otherwise. You can see how the blocks that are just marked there are actually a piece of nothing. 
and if I go into the second row here, I can grab the double cube. Nice edge. And there you have it. So some stuff like an l course sized drum may look rather impressive, but it was actually only a bit of math and a lot of tedium and copy pasting. Some stuff like that tiny edge there took quite some amount of work as well. But um, yeah, it would have totally ruined the build if I hadn't fixed that down there. And then when you have the shapes and some other stuff, you can make some lovely build like this Unicorn Deathmatch Rainbow Arena. See you on Saturday, I hope. Oh, yeah, sorry, there's one more thing, and I'm sorry because it's such a cliche YouTube thing. Um, so, it's rather hard for me to tell how many people watch this, how useful it is, and so on. So, any kind of input appreciated in that regard. Should I have music in the background? Is the voice recording alright? Um, do you want me to make a video and some other boxer stuff or shipbuilding stuff of the industry? Just let me know. I do like making the occasional video, but it actually is a lot more fun if I know that somebody's actually watching it and especially somebody actually learned something there.